1.6 billion bullets, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, predator drones, armed, now in U.S. skies, being used to arrest people in North Dakota. The Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. So long as I am president, I will always protect your Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. According to statistics, there are like 400 million guns in America. According to me, there should be like 800 million guns in America. According to me, there should be like a billion guns in America. Because it sounds like freedom. Action. The cost of freedom during the Civil War was 800,000 Americans. The cost of freedom during World War II was 80 million people globally. There has always been and will always be a cost of freedom. The Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. If you think that you're a victim in any type of way, you better get on the floor and start doing some push-ups. You better make yourself strong. You better learn how to save yourself, protect yourself, and defend your family. There are individuals in our society right now who think that they are victims. There are people in our society right now who think that they are oppressed. And if you can open your mouth and say, I'm a victim, man, you better not tell nobody that because all you're doing is waving your hand to all the predators, asking them to come and pick your weak ass off. You got a sign on your chest that says, I'm weak. In the world that we live in, the only thing that matters is power. I will tell you what makes you powerful. Your Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. The United States Constitution makes you powerful. The First Amendment. I will say whatever the hell I want to say. Number two. The Second Amendment, and I will defend what I just said. And as a free person in America, I guarantee you everything that I say, I'm willing to defend it. I'm willing to lay down my life for it. And if you don't like it, do something. I said it, I meant it, and I will defend it. This is freedom. There are people marching up and down the street saying things like, words are violence, words are violence. You better go down to Walmart and get you some earmuffs, put you some plugs inside your ears, and you better not listen because I'm going to say what I'm going to say with authority. And if you can't stop me, what? I'm going to say it again. And I'm going to say it again. <laughs> this is power. We are living in an age of power and there are powerful people who are choosing to be weak. I'm asking every victim and every oppressed person in America, you better go find yourself a group or create a community for yourself. You should have a militia of the weak people. Because if you don't have no protection in America, then you are unprotected. You cannot defend your ideas. And I guarantee you that you are a target. You will get picked off by strong people. I'm asking strong people who are willing to use your words to get louder, to get more offensive, to get more aggressive. Make these people do something. Either you're going to have some good ideas or your shitty ass ideas are going to get destroyed. If you're not a strong person, if you choose to be a weak person, then your weak ass is going to get destroyed. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.